Hey guys, it's Whitney from Loomwell. Today we are going to show you a really easy way to make a dramatic statement to any room. We are going to be wallpapering every single wall in here, which can seem really intimidating, but I'm going to break it down for you and make it really, really simple. The first step will be to measure the width of each wall in inches. You will add all of the measurements together as if it was one continuous wall. If you have a doorway in your space, you are able to utilize shorter panels above the doorway to save costs. In order to do so, you must calculate where the last full length panel will fall. Measure from your starting point to the door frame and divide that by 24. Then round up to the nearest whole number. This whole number indicates how many panels you will install before being able to use smaller panels. Then take that whole number and multiply it by 24. This number will tell you how many inches from your starting point your last full panel will fall. From that point, measure the remaining width above the door frame. Divide by 24 and then round down. This is how many smaller panels you will need. If you have a window in your space, it is crucial to measure as if the window is not there. This makes sure that the pattern remains seamless beneath the window. Lastly, measure the height of your room. Round up to the nearest whole number and this is the size of the panels you will need. Now let's get started with the install. We like to start on the most basic of the walls. We do this because typically doors and windows will have the potential to throw off the alignment of the panel. We don't like to start off with a difficult portion. This sets us up for the success for the rest of the install. Also, we like to start in a corner that isn't the first place your eyes are going to look when entering the room, or in a corner that will have furniture in front of it. We do this because there will be one corner of the room that the pattern will not match up. When you get to a corner, don't cut the panel. Simply press into the corner. Now we have reached the doorway. You'll see where the full panel overhangs into the doorway. Now we can use one of our smaller panels. For this doorway, we use two smaller panels. And then for the last part of the door, we can go back to the full size panel. Then we hit another corner. Same instructions as the last one. Simply press into it. For this window installed, there's no trim. So we apply the panels directly over the window. Do not trim until the end. So then we get to the last corner and you can see that we will have to trim the last panel and that the pattern won't match up. But it's okay because we chose a corner that will be behind a shelf. To make the corner cut as clean as possible, we like to tuck the last inch or so of our last panel under the first panel. Finally, it is time to trim. It is important to wait until the end to trim in case you need to make any adjustments along the way. Wrapping a full room is a timeless choice that is quickly becoming an interior design go-to. It can seem really intimidating, but hopefully this helped out a lot. Can't wait to see your spaces.